I'm back with my new invention. I just wanted to show you what's going on here. This thing is just awesome. I just wanted to kind of like show you a little bit of it. And that, just kind of take a look around here first of all before we talk about anything. Look at all these parts I got going on here. This thing is cool. First of all, I want to start off with uh, these are the towers here. And that there's eight of them. So it's going to go all the way across. And uh, what I did was I upgraded. I uh, got a hold of these uh, end mills and that to do some cutting and that. These, these things really speed it up. Look at the shine that, that this has got on there. It's just unreal. I mean, look how shiny that is. Nice and smooth, shiny. I mean, it's, this, this is going to be a really show compared to the other model that I have. I mean, the parts are really dull and that. As you can see, this is one of the lever arms here and that. It's, I'm starting to get it. It's kind of, you know, pretty much roughed in. There's a lot more details and stuff i got to cut into it. Put the magnets in it, the bearings and everything and stuff. But this is a really cool part. You know, it kind of fits right in here like so. And then it oscillates back and forth. Then there's another one that goes on the other side, like so. And that also oscillates back and forth inside there. And it goes all the way through. As you can see, when these things, they're kind of like roughed in these lines here. This is like Dykeman, and I kind of get a pattern, and I cut it out, and I kind of finish it to this, and then I finish detailing it. These are pretty much all roughed in all these towers here and it runs right along there see those towers isn't that cool shine on that thing this thing's just going to be awesome and here's uh, some of the gears and stuff these are really cool gears I, these, everything's all handmade here except for the motor you know here's another gear for reduction some of these other little gears go in it here's the uh, Here's the motor that I'm going to put in it. It's, it's uh, seven two-point volts. And uh, nothing, anything fancy. Not any super magnets or anything. Just just a plain ordinary motor. That's all it is. I, I wanted to get something a little stronger than that other motor I had because it just didn't have enough power to get what I want for the concept. It was just kind of like running out and all this stuff. Uh... I want to show you some stuff over here. These are some of the parts <clears throat> that are left over. You know, remember those uh, things in Video Five? Uh, well, this is what's left over, and this th I'm going to make the magnet holders and stuff like that for out of these. This is like cut out of this inside here. I'm not sure if this is the right one, but you know, they kind of like cut it out, drill some holes, pop it in there. Cut it on the saw, it comes right on out. You can see that way you got all that piece eliminated. See, isn't that cool how I did that? Same thing I did with these. I just kind of like took some holes, I popped some holes in there, I set it on the saw sideways, I come down in there, I cut that out, kind of come across there, mill it out. So that's simple. Saves a lot of work. These are just flat plates here. These what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade it also. Uh, I had a lot of trouble trying to uh, get the alignment on that. So what I did was I'm going to notch these out and then that way I can line it from the top instead of flipping it upside down. And that way then when I drop the transmission inside there, it'll, you know, it'll line up perfect. And then I'm going to have some rails that's going to come down through here. And across here, I got to get those rails and that. I got some more parts to order. It's not all complete. It's just kind of like showing you a rough idea of what it's going to look like as I'm getting it together and that. Uh, over here, let me show you something else too. I've seen, uh, I just don't want to forget this. This is what's left over. These are some of the chips and stuff and that. You know, I got several bins. Here's another one. Bunch of all, I mean, this is all just fat, packed with chips some more. I'll take them back to the recycle place and redo it again. Get the money back from the aluminum 
and then recycle it again. And, that, and then any of these parts that get too small, I'll just dump them in to just get the weight up. And I'll uh, just, just take care of it that way. Uh, let's take a look at this thing again here. This is, uh, don't worry about this, this is just Dykema on that. That'll clean off with alcohol and it'll be all shiny just like that. I mean, you can imagine what this thing's going to look like. Uh, this is actually a really a pure invention. There's nothing like it. There's nothing even close. I assure you, some people sit there and say, well, yeah, I made this. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you hear all these stories. I had one guy that anything you said he did, oh, he did it bigger and better and all that. Some other guy said something about, well, I uh, had something like that too. I did it. Uh, well, the thing is, it doesn't matter what you do. When you do something, you have to go to get a patent attorney and you've got to file a patent on it. You, you go and, it, and it, what it takes is approximately two and a half years after, if you file, that is uh, provisional. No, non-provisional. If you go provisional, it could take three and a half years. So it just depends on which way you file and how long it takes before, that's just before you get to see the patent examiner. That's not, it could take years to get stuff. And you're looking at approximately seven, eight thousand dollars for patent. So if somebody says, well, I got that before you, it really don't count. The whole thing is, when you do something, you got to get a patent on it. That's the main thing in that. Uh, somebody's talked about some physics and stuff. Let's kind of go into some of these physics laws and stuff and that. Uh, I kind of went through and uh, I, I tried to find the closest person that this, the physics would go under. This, the closest person I could find would be James Clark Maxwell, this guy. He's, uh, a lot of you people didn't hear about him or anything. I don't know if a lot of you know him. Uh, Actually, he's the one that Albert Einstein most admired. He was a very good physicist. He was so advanced, it took us almost 100 years to figure out what he was talking about. He'd be in there in the classroom talking about stuff, and all these students would be just getting little tiny sparks of what he was talking about. It took them like 100 years to really get an idea of what he was talking about. And what he was talking about is how electromagnetic fields would, uh, how everything works. Light, your radio waves, your TV sets, your microwaves, your x-rays, your nuclear power plants, all that has different frequencies. And what he was talking about was everything runs on a frequency. I don't care what it is. It could be radar, it could be anything. It all runs, even light, runs on an oscillation and a frequency. And that's how, what this is. This has an oscillation and a frequency. And this is kind of close to what he was talking about, but he never talked about permanent magnets. That is the difference between what I've got and what he's doing. And this is totally different physics. This is something new. You can't tell me that it's the same thing. It is not. There is a difference between magnets in a three-dimensional wave oscillating back and forth and things like what he was talking about. So he's the closest person that I could find in all these physics books gone through I went through the patent office. He went through all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to tell you. I'm going to be getting some more uh, stuff together in that here pretty soon. Uh, pretty soon I'll be getting these lever arms in here. I'm going to finish cutting these up. And he's going to start to button all this up. And, that, and you're going to see something that's so advanced that you're just not going to believe it. And I'm going to let you go because I'm running out of time in that, and my 10 minutes is almost up. So I'll let you go. Goodbye.